Hi, I'm Ross Jacobs. Um, I got an email a couple of days ago from a lady uh, who wanted to know a little bit about leg yielding. Um, so let me read to you what she had to say. Hi Ross, I've been riding for 12 years and had an on and off instruction from mostly dressage trainers. But I recently attended a clinic run by a person who competes in Western events. It was pretty interesting. Something that stood out for me happened when he was teaching people to do a leg yield with their horses. In English riding, we are taught to shift our weight to the side of the saddle the horse is moving. But the clinician was teaching us to shift our weight in the saddle to the opposite direction the horse was moving. I didn't understand why. Can you please explain this to me? Best regards, Bernie. Well, I think that's a pretty interesting question and um, that's why I decided to uh, turn it into a video. Uh, Bernie asked a good question. So let me say from the outset, this is not a Western versus English riding thing. This is not a set of principles that pertain to English riding versus a set of principles that pertain to Western riding. This is the difference between between correct and incorrect. Good riding is good riding irrespective of the discipline that you invo are involved in. I guess before we start we should talk a little bit about um, the way uh, a rider, a good rider, should use their seat. So one of the important tenets of being a good rider is that you are the least amount of burden possible to a horse. So we want to, when we ask a horse to do something, we want to be able to make it as easy as possible for them to carry us. Let's uh, consider uh, getting a piggyback from somebody. If you jump on somebody's back and they want to go forward, but you lean back, you become a burden on them. If you lean forward, it makes it easier for them to carry you. Likewise, if you want to turn left, uh, and, but you lean to the right, it makes it a lot harder for that person to carry you. Or if you want to turn right, you lean to the left. It's just as hard. So if you want to turn left, the thing to do is to lean a little to the left to make it easier. And the reason this is important is because you're trying to align your center of gravity as closely as you can to the person carrying you center of gravity. It's not much different with horses. When a horse moves, his center of gravity moves in the dire direction he's trying to go. And to be as little as uh, burden as possible to a horse, we really need to try and adjust our center of gravity to go in the same direction as the horse. Now, as riders, there are two basic planes that we can adjust our center of gravity and shift our weight. One is to go forward and backward. The other one is to go side to side, so we can go left or we can go right. It's also possible to go up and down, but for the purpose of this video, it's not really important that we talk about that now. So. Keeping that in mind, when a horse changes his center of gravity, we also need to change our center of gravity. For example, when a horse is going fast forward, say in a racehorse, jockeys, there's a reason a jockey gets out of the saddle and sits right up on it above his shoulders. And the reason for that is because the, the jockey's trying to closely align his center of gravity to the horse's center of gravity that's moved forward. Same thing with jumping. You know, when a, after a horse has left the ground, his center of gravity has come very forward. And so that's why the forward seat was made popular by Caprilli um, back in oh, over 100 years ago. To keep the rider's center of gravity closely aligned to the horses. The opposite's true if it's um, the center of gravity shifts back. So, for example, in a highly collected movement like a Levade, where the center of gravity shifts over the hindquarters and the horse's front end comes off the ground. The rider needs to shift his center of gravity further back 
to be as little as burden as possible and allow the horse to get his weight off the front end. Same thing going down a very steep hill. Centre of gravity shifts back over the hindquarters, the rider leans back to keep the weight, help keep the weight further back and off the forehand. So that's that plane going forward and backward, how we can adjust our centre of gravity to aid a horse. But what about side to side? And that becomes important with your turns um, and particularly important with uh, your lateral work. And Bernie's question was about leg yield specifically, but this is relevant to any sort of lateral work, whether it's a side pass or it's a um, half pass or a shoulder in or whatever you want to work on. These things, that this, this, what I'm about to say um, is relevant to that as well. So if we keep to the principle that the rider's centre of gravity should be adjusted to be as closely aligned to the horse's centre of gravity, if the horse is shifting sideways to the left, then the rider should be shifting his weight sideways to the left as well to keep the centre of gravity as close as possible. So irrespective of the bend, if if a horse is bent to the right but moving to the left, the rider should have his weight in his left seat bone. Um, if the half pass, if he's bent to the left and travelling to the left, riders should have his seat bone, uh, weight shifted in the, the left seat bone as closely as possible. So where does this thing come from, this idea that you sometimes see in Western people, not everyone, but occasionally you'll see it in Western people, that if you want to shift a horse sideways to the left, that they should lean to the right and open up their left leg. From what I can gather, the notion comes from the idea that by doing that, by shifting to the right and opening up your left leg when you want a horse to move to the left, it, it's supposed to open up space for a horse to move into. But you know, that isn't really a very good rationale because a horse isn't blocked just because you either sit neutral or you sit a little to the left. He isn't blocked from going there. He might be blocked if you push left leg on him to block him from moving to the left. But if your leg is just hanging there, relaxed, he's not blocked from going to the left. But he is blocked from going to the left if you, go, if you lean to the right. Now he can still go to the left. You'll see all the time. In fact, you'll watch a volta. They'll hang off one side while the horse is still going straight or even going to the other direction. Horses are capable of doing that, but it makes it so much more difficult. So the rationale I don't really agree with. And what I suggest is that you try and keep your center of gravity in kilter with the horse's center of gravity as much as you physically can. I hope that answers your question, Bernie, and I hope it helps some other people who have been asking the same question of themselves. Good night, Alice, wherever you are.